guys, how you doing? My name is Joe, and today we're going to play some more Game Dev Tycoon. We left off last episode with a buttload of money, a lot of success on our last games. We moved into our new office, we did a little bit of training, so we're ready to move on, make another game, maybe hire somebody new, not quite sure, but uh, yeah, just kind of flying in the dark. Um, Venna has announced they released a new gaming con console in two months. This, so this is the Sega Genesis, I guess? The Sega, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, so what do we, um, yep, yeah, oh, we should start, uh, will be the genesis of new generation. Okay, so now we got, we got some training, let's, we, we have 2.9 million, so let's train ourselves. If you want to create hit games in the world class, what, if you want to create hit games and have a world class team, then training is important. For best results, your staff, train your staff regularly, but don't overwhelm them with too many sessions at once. There are different training options available. Some options are better to increase certain skills than others. Experimenting is the best way to figure out which training options fit your plans. It is useful to, to have a mix of specialists and all-arounders in your team, but aim to have at least one design specialist, specialist and one technology specialist. Alright, so what do we want to train Joe in? Um, let's train Joe in... let's just make him think. We'll get some research going on. Yep, let's make me think, start training, and let's also fill a position. Before you can hire somebody, you have to advise, uh, advertise the open position. Set an advertising budget and decide how you want to test your applicants. A high budget will increase the, increase the number of applicants, and the different tests will help you find which right which is the right balance... Oh, I can't even fucking read today. All right, so let's um, let's set a balance of, of what, hundred thousand dollars? That's a lot of money to advertise. Well, I guess we got two point nine mil. Let's go two hundred k, and um, pre-filter applicants with complex algorithms, game demo, or show reel. Um, let's go with a game demo. I don't know. Start looking. So I'm getting a little bit more research here. Just making Joe think. It seems that Joe Games has recently moved into an office in a well-known technology park and is now searching for employees. The company, which is known for games such as ER Simulator and Goose Hunt, has reportedly operated out of a garage until now. One of the many fans of ER Simulator commented, I can't believe that they didn't even have a proper office until now, and those games were created with only one person. I'm really looking forward to their future games. Aw, oh, shucks. Thanks, buddy. All right. To search uh, for opens is complete. complete. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget, you can always train your employees to improve their skills. So who do we got? We got Jacob Cox. He is uh, more of a technology kind of guy. 9K per month. His speed is, is fairly good. Let's see who we got here. This guy is an all-arounder guy. And this guy is a little bit more technology. 9K per month. A little bit higher speed on everything. Technology is... I think we'll go with this guy. He's a little bit... I think we're going to go with this guy. Congratulations, your first hire. New employees have settled in before they become fully effective. When the character is not fully effective, you can see an efficiency bar next to them. The bar will fill up slowly over time. It's usually a good idea to give your new staff a welcome training to get them up to speed quickly. This will maximize their efficiency way faster than normally. To do this, close this message and click on the character to bring up the action menu. All right. So let's train this guy in staff. Welcome training. So that's pretty good. Okay, so Joe's still working away with that. Um, what Can we do anything? Well, no, we can't really do anything. We can fire that guy. I don't really want to do that. Uh, we can develop a new game. Let's see what we can. Let's, uh, what kind of topic? Space surgery, hunting hospital, cyberpunk, alternate history. I actually, I kind of want to research a new... Um, can I not research here? Oh, maybe because he's, he's currently... Develop a new game, find contract work, five weeks. Let's see. Should be able to do that one. Come on, buddy, you got this. Today, the new game platform... Okay, sick. All right, so we are dropping in monthly costs. We better make a new game or do something at least. Oh, this guy's helping on it too. All right, let's um, 
Let's just do this last contract here. Get some money in the bank. Help pay for the... Oh, writer's block. Come on, buddy. You got this. You got this. Come on, guys. Let's do this. Holy shit, that was close. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank God, buddy. Zachary, you pulled us out of the hole. You're good. Okay, we really have to do something. Let's, um... I can't... How come I can't research? I, I want to research some... There we go. Okay, let's research a new topic. I really... Medium games? Yeah, let's uh, start research on that. Can I research with you, too? Okay, um... Get a new topic, buddy. Prison, law, government, werewolf. That would be pretty cool. That's good, okay. And then we're going to make a new project. Uh, maybe a new medium game? I don't know what that is all about, but um, I know we have to make Pong because I really want to see that thing move. Hi, Hobo Joe. I have followed the progress of Joe Games for a while, and it seems your recent expansion, you've started developing, developing larger games. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people. And this is where publishers can come in handy. Okay, publishers will do this shit for me. That's great. Thank you very much. Alright. Okay. So we can find a publishing contract. Not quite sure if we want to do that. Can this guy research a, a new topic here? I, I really want I, I want a better topic. Mystery. Eh. This is not exactly what I want. I want to get military. I'm not quite sure if I have military. I should probably check that. I don't think I do. Because I want to make a Call of Duty. Like duty as in poop. <laughs> God, I'm hilarious. Okay, let's see. Do I have... I don't think I have military. Fashion, really don't want that. Okay, so let's um, target audience, casual games, game tutorials, mono sound. We could probably use that. And... Um, game tutorial would probably be pretty good. Oh, somebody must be... Are you are you searching? Are you searching for that already? Um, oh, we don't have enough research points. Okay, I use them all. Great. Develop a new game. Let's uh, let's make a small game again, and let's make an alien genre is going to be an action game, and it's going to be called um, Out <laughs> of this this world that is that is so so creative all right so wh what are we gonna make this on I would like to make a, a Game Boy game though maybe maybe that's what we should do let's um let's see what um a werewolf space a mystery yeah let's make a mystery RPG and we'll call it uh, <laughs> we'll call it we'll just call it uh, we'll call it clue no, no, that's not. No, let's call it land. No, ah, what do we want to call a mystery game? Mystery game should be called Land of the Land of the Dead. We'll call it that. So our mystery RPG is going to be on. Oh yes, okay, uh, 50k. Sure, let's do that. So it's going to be on the Gremlin Pick Game Engine. We're going to use our Hammer Time Engine. It's going to be good 2D graphics, start development. All right, guys, come on. This is going to be our casual game. Make it on to, um... All right, I'm not quite sure. I haven't done many RPGs. I know our engine needs to be half good. Gameplay needs to be good. Story quests, you know, you would need you would need quite a bit of story quests. So I think that should be, should be good. Gameplay needs to be... But story and quests needs to be really up there because it's an RPG. So I think... I'm thinking anyway. I'm thinking this will be good. I don't know, though. I can't, we can't have a flop. This is, this will be horrible. Uh, you have just re researched your first engine part. To be able to use this in your games, you need to create a new engine which includes this part. Alright, sounds good. Okay, so Land of the Dead, Mystery RPG, Development Stage 2. Dialogues, uh, they can, yeah. Level design needs to be like that. I don't think you need much artificial intelligence in an RPG. There, I think that'll be good. 
I really should start developing marketing. We got 3,000 fans. All right, so world design. We need we need good world design, I would think. It's an RPG. Why was that zero? I don't know. Uh, graphics, sound can be down, I think. Graphics can be... I don't know. That was down. It's got me all scared. I don't know if that was like a... Eh, we'll just go with that. This is our first Game Boy game, so if it doesn't go over too well, then I guess that's not too too bad. Let's work out all our bugs. Our design and technology, we don't have many points for that. Um, Alright, let's finish it. See what happens. No new records here. Ooh, leveled up in 2D graphic design. Let's release the game. Alright, first reviews. Let's see. I hope it's at least mediocre. Oh, well, not bad. Six shows potential. That's alright, I'll take that. Five has its moments. This is this is not bad. This is better than a four. Another six. Good stuff. Then another six. Not bad, not bad at all, guys. That's a good That's a good time. Alright, so let's um let's do a generate game report and see how that went. <clears throat> Um, let's let's train this guy. Let's uh, what do we want to do? Make me think. Um, effect. Game dev get gems. I don't don't repeat yourself. Coding complete. I I don't know what these are, but um, I need research points. So let's start training. Boss, I've discovered that some really dedicated fans of ER Simulator have created a fan game using a lot of the t material from our game. They don't make any money with it, and it just seems to do it for fellow fans. Our League of Advisory strongly suggests we shouldn't allow this to go on. Fuck them. Let them be. I think that's going to come back to bite me, but, you know, that's, that's a whole community of modders right now. Not very important. I didn't think so. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, you should let them mod. Let them mod it out. I think that'll be good. I've recently been informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us, and I just want to say that I'm very grateful that you didn't. Sick. We gained more fans. So hopefully that won't come back to bite us in the end, but uh, you never know, I guess. Oh, it's not giving me more research points. I thought it gave me more research points. All right, so uh, let's let's get this guy some training. Let's um let's see what happens here. We need to get his um technology up because we want this guy to be our technology guy. Um, today, Nintendo announced the much anticipated. Si oh, right on. The Super Nintendo, sick. All right, so let's let's just jump right into. Although we need to make what what else can we make? Develop, um, find a publishing deal. Do we want this to? Find a large yes. Once our fan base is big enough, you can self-publish your larger games without the need for a publisher. Or a medium games should aim to have at least 100k fans before you publish them yourself. Pay attention to the details. Okay, I'm scared now. It's also important to pay attention to the Roy through I don't you know what? You know what? I don't really like publishers right now. Hunting and simulation from Ubersoft. Um any topic RPG Government strategy Fashion not research not you know what I don't nah I don't like this. Alright, so we made we made a made a little bit of money from that, not you know it wasn't our best game for sure, but it was alright. So let's um let's do this. We could use some some contract work here. Oh, you're working away, okay? Oh, we have another position. Do we want to hire somebody else? I'm not quite sure we do yet. Thank you. Let's uh, do some more contract work. Okay. Um, what do we want to do? Bugging penalty four weeks twenty one. Uh, okay, let's, fuck it, let's go with it. Hopefully we can do this. Come on, buddy, help us out. You can tell them the employees need for rest when their efficiency steadily decreases. Give them a holiday, just click on that and select, select send to vacation. 
I don't think I'm going to make this. Oh, are you kidding me? You both had writer blocks right now. I can't afford this. You guys let me down. Oh, man, that's too bad. I really could have used that money. You guys suck. All right, so let's um let's create a new custom engine. Um okay, what do we we want to call this? Hammer time 2.0. So we want to we want to knock this one out of the back grab blah, 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 ballpark. So we want do we want 2D graphics? I'm thinking, but are all these selected? Yeah, all these are selected. But how do we can we not I thought we could make um Thought we could make 3D graphics by now. Let's see what our research is here. Can we make target audience new topic? Nope. Still not a new topic. Okay, let's uh, make a new game engine. So we're gonna have all that plus mono sound. No, we need to let's uh, research some more game tutorials. All right, let's do this. We'll start that research. We'll get some game tutorials and then we'll add those into our our um, game engine. Holy crap, I can't even think. Okay, fine, contract work. Um, this guy is more of a techie kind of guy, so I don't think he's going to do very well with that one. We have two mil in the bank. Alright, so let's make our new game engine. And it's going to be called Hammer Time. 2.0 and we're gonna have game tutorials and mono sound in it so it's gonna cost us 150k that's okay though I think after this engine is complete we're gonna have to send our, our little guy on oh okay we're gonna take it slow then <laughs> So we got a good good game engine coming on now. It's going to be a little bit of a longer episode, I think, because we are going to still want to make another game. Try to keep it around two games per episode. And we're going to have to send little Zachary here on uh, vacation because he looks like he's getting tired. So 100k investment right on. Okay, let's... um. Actually, buddy, we're going to make one more game and then we're going to send you on vacation. So... Let's uh, develop a new game, and we're going to make a medium game. Do we want to make a medium game? Fuck it. Let's make a medium game. Um, and let's make it about... Post... Uh, werewolf... No. What to, What kind of game do we want? We could make a medium hospital game, like, but no, we just made that last time. We shouldn't make the same... Uh, mystery, aliens, werewolf, hunting... Post-apocalyptic surgery, or should we just make a small game? Hmm. He said we shouldn't do medium games without a publisher, so let's not do that. We'll take that for. We could do a hunting RPG, or we could do a. Let's just do an aliens. No, you know, space is good. We'll, we'll make a space. I don't want to do space invaders. Uh, space police? Question mark? Space police? Question mark? That sounds like a good name. All right, so it is going to be an action game, and it's going to be on the new. Well, what has the most market share here? PC still has a um, simulation. It's very good on the simulation. Genre match action. You know, I think we're gonna make a new. We're gonna make an action game on the new Super Nintendo. All right, let's acquire a license for that. We are just spending money left, right, and center, and it's gonna be Hammer Time 2.0. Go next. We're gonna go with our 2D graphics version two. Oh crap, RPG games are especially popular at the moment. That's not good. Way to, way to tell me that now. Alright, so our engine needs to be, you know, fairly high. And we'll add game tutorials. Gameplay needs to be good. Story and quests can be down. Um, a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Gameplay needs to be pretty high. 
All right, come on, guys. Let's make a name for ourselves in the action genre. We can do this. We're dropping money like crazy. Um, dialogues, you know, we don't need that shit. Artificial intelligence needs to be right up there. A little bit of dialogue, maybe. All right, this just so many gaming platforms. The play state, the play system. <whistles> Vony made the play system. That's the PlayStation, except it looks like a weird controller. Maybe that's before the PlayStation. I just don't remember it. Uh, oh, that's the prototype. Yeah, that's before they got shut down and made the PlayStation. Yes. Okay. It's only one day after Vonnie announced the PlayStation has turned sour. Yes, this is when Sony goes on its own and makes its own system. Sony will come back. You will see. And they will make four systems. <laughs> and one will be released last week. Okay, so graphics need to be pretty good. Sound needs to be pretty good. World design, not so much. Okay. Okay. Model sound, we want that. We want the good shit. I don't know, our technology, design, and all that, you know, it's not, it's not high at all. In two months, the NES will be taken off the market. Come on, guys, just polish this game. We need, we need to get higher and higher. And then, I promise, Zachary, we will send you on a vacation. We, need, we just need a few more design and technology points here, boys. Come on, let's do this. All right, you're not going to do it. All right. New record. That's not too bad, then. Leveling up and everything. Level for days. Release game. All right. New research available. Better user experience. Level editor. Oh, that's cool. Let's uh, send on vacation. So we're sending our buddy on vacation. The first reviews are out. Oh, for God's sakes, please be good. Oh, that's not bad. Very enjoyable. Please be a nine. No, I need a nine. Love it. Not bad. Game hero. Could have been better. Ah, just fair. Just fair. All right, um, so we got a 7.25 on that one. So not too bad. Let's see how our, our sales are going. No longer supported. Alright, so not too bad. We're making a little bit of money back. Um, base and action is a great combination. Graphics seem to be very important for this type of game. I know that. But thanks a lot, guys, for watching. This was episode number four of Game Dev Tycoon. I believe it's number four. Um, we made two more games. Not as, success not as successful as our last two, but still... Not as bad as our first two. So we're doing we're doing pretty good. We're on the way up, Joe Games. Uh, next episode, we're going to make two more games and uh, start getting into some current generation consoles. So pretty excited about that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this series and want to see more, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys.